presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tom just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. Just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 348, NASDAQ's up 264, SPs are up 60, gold contract uh, trading up uh, $3.20 at 1739 an ounce. You get silver flat, $19.17 an ounce, platinum up 22 bucks. 863 an ounce. Light sweet crude up four and a half dollars, hundred and two dollars ninety-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, down 25 ticks right now, trading 11808. The 30 year for full point and a half at 138.13 and king dollar. King dollar right now is flat, trading out at a price point of 107, 136. The euro is at 101, the yen is at 136, and the British pound is at 120 to 1 the US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get price, there's no doubt about that, but guess what? The, the contraction in volume is pretty dramatic. So you got 40 million shares traded today. Um, and the, the, what you're gonna have here, you're gonna have a contraction even from yesterday, which is pretty intense because yesterday was light volume. You did 70 million yesterday, you're doing 49, you'd probably do 55. You know, the swing has 86. The top of that swing is uh, that 393. And I suspect that's what we'll go for tomorrow. I mean, I think what you're gonna see here is more than like we're gonna, we're gonna hold price and you know, come into Friday, you'll have even more contraction and the real question is gonna be, what does it do with that swing? You know, bottom line, we'll see whether it gets above it, closes underneath it, gets above it, stays above it. And the, the ratios there, how they go, folks, if it gets above it and closes underneath it, that's going to be a failure price on volume. You, you go right back downtown, downtown. If we stay above it on price, that's going to go fill the gap. So the top of that is uh, 393. That's the swing. The gap is 401.44. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX uh, set up the same way. The difference with the NDX is that the NDX had some strength yesterday. It had, uh, had some volume yesterday. Guess what? No more volume today, man. You get uh, 39 million shares traded. Yesterday we did uh, 63. Bottom line, you know, the swing up there only has 54. Um, you know, but guess what? It's the, and the swing point on this is 296.57. We hit 295.22. Uh, so I suspect, hey, we'll see. We'll see if it might test it today, man. Test it today, that's going to be pretty cool. But I, I'm like, actually, let's go look at the MQs. Let me look at this for a second. So if I bring up the futures, take a look at these futures, this is how they're set up. Yeah, it's not going to test it today. You know, the, the, the thing is, it's so, that's so intriguing. You see, at the open and bar, that's where all the volume was this morning. And on a longer basis, that's, a, that's exactly what it's going to go back to, which is another 143 points downtown. You have nothing that's going on up here. You know, I, but I suspect we're, we're going to stay at a higher price. Gold. Gold contract out here trading at a price point of uh, 1738. And, you know, you get a sideways move. There's not much action happening here. What has... Now, check this out. Now, this is going to get interesting, right? So, on the dollar, right, what you have is this, folks, is that this dollar, you know, we're at 107, and the next swing is that 121, okay? So, 
you know, when you look at that, it's like, okay, man, my take is that that's where we're going. That being said, though, let's check this out. This is kind of interesting because what has happened, because of the dollar going up so dramatically, this UUP has got some, they got like 939 million into the UUP, um, which is very unusual, okay? Now, when you look at the UUP, this is where it's gonna get really interesting, man. If this UUP, now let's say if the dollar closes down tomorrow, I mean, opens down tomorrow, this signal up here, this would, bottom line, this is a tri-star doji. So if this does trade down, that puts on the table that this dollar just may not go to that 121. So this is gonna be kind of cool watching how this shakes out. It's very hard, number one, to get a tri-star doji. And what happens is this, is that you get a gap away, then you get little tiny bars just like we got here, then you get a gap down. And we have the makings of it except for the gap down. So we'll see where this shakes out, man. I mean, pretty wild. Uh, bonds, notes and bonds, they continue on higher price. We hit the 3% mark once again. Um, bottom line is that when you take a look at the, the setup inside the note and bond market, well, the, the Fed was very clear yesterday, man. I mean, you're either going up 50 basis points or 75 basis points in July. Um, you know, we'll see where that's, where that's gonna shake that out. But you can see, uh, T.Y. why. There you go. You can see the bond market right now. Uh, all that managed to do, it got up to the swing point of that 120.19. Yesterday we hit the 120.16. So you're three ticks away from it, it couldn't handle it. Now you're gonna be right back downtown. You know, so um, bottom line, that wants lower price, higher yields. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You get advanced micro up $4.20. You get Apple up 350. Uh, Amazon's up 240. You got, uh, let's see, uh, Tesla is up $38. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, folks. Excuse me. We have uh, Intel up a buck 25. You got uh, Facebook up $2. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. What you have, you had Lucent's up uh, 9% or a buck 60. You have uh, Moderna up seven, seven and a half percent. Clack is up seven percent, and Marvel Technologies is up six and a half. Taken away from Charter Communications is down two. Let's go over to Clack. Let's see how this semiconductors are doing. That's up twenty-one bucks or seven percent. Yeah, no volume. Okay, so you get a nice kind of turn bounce going, but there's nothing here, man. That's the real bottom line. Clack, you know, bottom line broke out its lows. You came down here at 780 million shares. You're up on 330. That's the typical uh, route that uh, lower prices continue coming at you. We go take a look at the uh, King Dog Amazon out here. So this is cool. We, we were looking at this yesterday. So real, what you want to do when we get to the swing po points, folks, is you, you want to be able to put a few different equities together. And Amazon's gonna be a good one, you know, because Amazon's going after the swing of 117.98. It needs 62 million shares at 43 today. Now that could get that 62 tomorrow. And that would be a nice heads up to understand where that NDX in general wants to go. Stay right there, folks, and come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Mr. Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up at 370. You get the Nasdaq up 276. S&Ps are up uh, 63. So there's a question about, you know, the bottom line is that when I brought up this UUP, if it does turn, uh, would that be good for the market? And yeah, it would. That's the bottom line. Um, you know, we'll see where that shakes out. The, lo the longer... I'm bringing this up because when these do show up, okay, it's like, okay, you want to pay attention to them. And I'm bringing it up for the aspect of... Um, when this popped up this morning, what happened is this, folks. Two different things have happened. The, across the headlines, it popped up that, like, um, there it is, 1.8 billion riding high, the dollar hitting highs, and how much money went into it. So then I started looking at it. That's what ended up happening. Um, you know, th that's, that's, that's a good amount of bread coming into it, you know. So, hey, we'll see where it shakes out, man. That's the bottom line. But, uh, yes. That, that would give relief to the metals market, if there's a broad market, all of the above, but you'd still need the volume. So the larger ABC structures haven't fulfilled themselves on the way down yet, and that's the, that's the bigger deal. You know, and we will, yeah, we'll see where this baby shakes out. But, um, yeah, that's, a, that's how it's set up inside the, the dollar. If we go over to the euro, we take a look at the euro. The pounds, there's a little movement out here today with uh, Johnson out. Uh, euro has no movement. Euro still wants lower price. Um, if we go do a look at the pound... What you will see is that the pound, I think it hit, uh, yeah, hit the 119 and rejected it. So if we take a look at this, yeah, that's, uh, so, I mean, this has been a vicious downtrend. We hit uh, the 11876 yesterday. Uh, it's been a straight line move down uh, since uh, last six months. Actually, let me bring it back further. Yeah, look at this, man. Wow. A buck 42 to a buck 20. Yeah, so, uh, hey, we'll, we'll see how this baby shake out. That's, that's the real bottom line. Um, inside the Dow Industrials, let's go inside the Dow and see what the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. And right now, point-wise, what you have is you have uh, Caterpillar putting 56 points, Goldman 34, uh, Boeing 29, Salesforce 25, taken away from it. United Health 16. Oh, here, check this out, man. Okay, JP Morgan, JPM. I got to see this. This story is just something else, man. So here we go. And, you know, many folks that are definitely in the 
metals market know this, but what's going to be really cool here, folks, is finding out exactly how corrupt the banks actually are. We know they're corrupt. I mean, that's the bottom line. The, 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 the sickest part about all of this is that, yeah, they just keep paying off. But now this is the first time that inside of the um, banking structure that we actually have some heavy hitters that are in court. And so what happened is this. This guy, uh, Michael Nowak, uh, was once one of the most powerful people in the gold market. The former J.P. Chase uh, managing director ran the precious metals business for more than a decade, making hundreds of millions of dollars in profit trading everything from silver to platinum. Palladium. Now he and his two former colleagues face a federal jury. The, the, tra the trial started today, folks. This is going to be awesome. Just watching this, just how it shakes out. So, um, him and his, well, and one of the reasons that most of the time, folks, this gets swept under the table and the firms just pay money. Now, in this case, JP Morgan did pay, I think, $900 billion as a fine already. And then they hung all these other people out to dry simultaneously. So, let's take a look at this. So, the former uh, JP Morgan uh, Chase Managing Director ran the bank's precious business uh, for years, making hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, now, he and his two former colleagues are uh, facing a federal jury in Chicago on criminal charges of thousands of so called spoofing trades, which is illegal. Uh, which prosecutors say were used to, for years to generate illicit gains for J.P. Morgan and its top clients. That's, this is the other side of this, okay? The trial uh, is kicking off today, uh, threatens to lay bare the inner workings of the prestigious bank that has long dominated the market for gold. Not only gold, silver they're into beyond belief. Wait, wait to hear the numbers that these guys actually do. The government says that NOAC's business operated as a criminal enterprise manipulating prices from 2008 to 2016 by placing thousands of trade orders that were never intended to be executed. If convicted, the three men uh, will be among the biggest players yet to face prison for price manipulation. Uh, the trial comes after years of the U.S. government crackdown on price manipulation that saw J.P. Morgan pay $920 million to set, settle the spoofing claims two years ago with $330 billion, listen to this, $330 billion in notational value in precious metals derivative contracts at the end of March. J.P. Morgan still has 67% of the positions put through U.S. banks. It holds three times as much as the next biggest player, which is Citigroup. Uh, Noak, who was a board member of the body that runs the London, oh, this gets even heavier, listen to this, who was a board member of the body that runs the London gold market, faces 15 counts including commodities fraud, conspiracy to engage in racketeering and price manipulation and spoofing, planting fake orders into the market to steer others into buying or selling at prices that favor the bank. Trader Greg Smith faces 13 counts, Jeffrey Rufo, a salesman, faces two counts, the fourth defendant. Uh, trade uh, Christopher Jordan is scheduled to be tried on November 28th. They all pleaded not guilty, and f they face decades in prison if convicted. Um, Noad, uh, Noak was arrested in September 2019, uh, sending shockwaves throughout the priority trading world. His, arrests, his arrest is part of a raft of prosecutions brought by the Justice Department since spoofing was defined and made illegal in 2010. So it was made illegal. The bottom line is that, yeah, I mean, we all know, well, most of you know, I know exactly what it is, uh, but it has been illegal now for 12 years. The government has extracted a billion dollars in fines and criminal, uh, and filed criminal charges against do dozens of individuals. Um, in 2021, two Bank of America purchase metals Traders were convicted in Chicago a year earlier. A jury found two. Deutsche Bank uh, were convicted. They reached plea agreements and cooperated with the authorities. Um, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't stay. We'll find out how this whole thing shakes out. Uh, among the government's, uh, here we go. Among the government's witnesses are former J.P. Morgan employees, including John Edmonds, who told prosecutors about Noak's trading in 2018, as well as uh, four other people, uh, another former of Bear Stearns in Bank of Nova Scotia trader pleaded guilty to price manipulation. The trial will be closely watched by the gold market participants eager to uh, know more about uh, J.P. Morgan's operations of its trading desk. Yeah, the bottom line, the, you know, the, I'm not going to go through the whole rest of it. You can, you can pick this up on Bloomberg, folks. 
Um, the, the bottom line is that the, you know, they are running a criminal enterprise. That's the bottom line. And the sickest part is that, um, you know, the big dogs always get away. It's pretty sick. Um, and I suspect we'll, we'll see in this particular case uh, is, in fact, if they do end up getting guilty, uh, maybe they'll roll over, and you know we'll see. Because picture, you you can't have you can't have managing directors of banks, right, running trading desk, making hundreds of millions of dollars when the rest of the board doesn't know about it. That, that's I mean, in the trading business, right, folks? You, 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 when you spoof, you can see all those orders. You know, they go in, they go out. They go in, they go out. They go, you know, so their compliance knew it. Now they got to prove it. That's the bottom line. Dow Industrial's up 362, NASDAQ up 269, S&P's up 62. Stay right there, folks. Come on back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up at 334. You get the NASDAQ up 260. S&Ps are up uh, uh, 58. Let's go over to Tesla and take a look at Tesla and see uh, you got a little bid that's, uh, that's happening out here. And uh, right now we have... Yeah, see, now, this is where the difference is. So, so watch this. This, this is how, if you get an equity that wants to go higher, folks, this is how it works, okay? Bottom line is that, you know, Tesla, you know, down from 11.52, hit a low a few months ago, uh, I mean, a few weeks ago, a month ago, at 6.20, you're at 7.32, and you can see you got an expansion of volume is coming into the swing. You know, the downdraft, the swing at 30 million, you're at 24, you're probably, you know, the swing itself is 29, I suspect. Uh, as we go after it, uh, more than likely, um, well, we'll see if we get the volume as we go after it. Now, check this out. This <laughs> must, he, it must turn so many heads, man. It's just pretty amazing. So Musk is having a fight with, um, look at this one, man. He's having a fight with uh, Dish Networks over 
the um, his satellites, okay, the, the Starlink, okay? That being said, so check this out. There's a story out here that he had 90,000 folks send messages to the FCC over dispute, okay? So can you imagine uh, that the Federal Communications Commission is weighing the issue and hasn't decided when it may decide or whether to open the airwaves for 5G use? Um, <laughs> Oh, man. I, this guy has so many different twists and turns, it's pretty amazing. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Starlink, re it, what, what happened is that he must reach out to his subscribers, Starlink subscribers, and told them uh, something that's, oh, this, oh, this, oh, look, look at this. Oh, this, oh, this is going to be funny. Let's see. Okay, hold it. Um, okay, at issue of frequencies that DISH uses, wants to use for the fast 5G service. Musk SpaceX said the proposed service would block signals from his Starlink fleet of satellites, which offer wireless broadband through small antennas mounted on rural homes and businesses. Dish said its 5G won't interfere with Starlink. On Thursday, a coalition that includes Dish pushed back against Musk saying Starlink has initiated a public misinformation campaign by falsely telling customers and the public that coexistence is not possible. The agency docket on the matter has received 201 submissions as of last week. The number grew by 95,703 by noon today. After Starlink emailed customers last week asking them to support the service, and Starlink, uh, and so Dish, of course, is saying that Elon Musk flat out is just a liar. And he's basically bringing these folks down the road. Who knows? We'll find out with the F AA, uh, F FCC uh, says after this uh, point, but <laughs> you talk about, uh, you know, in order to catch up with Elon Musk, folks, okay, you know, you need about five pairs of roller skates, roller skates <laughs> and a jetpack, probably. Yeah, there's no, there's no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at the uh, silver market. So silver, you know, bottom line, that thing gets smoked on a continual basis. And when it gets smoked, the, the bottom line, you come down hard and fast. Um, so what we're looking for, SI, okay, see so at 1909, I know what I'll do, I'm going to do the SLV instead. We'll put a look at the SLV so we can get all these volumes. Okay, so we bring this back, put it back on a monthly yeah, it broke. The, um, oh, it's got light volume here, but yeah, this is 1661 still game. So what happens here is that this one, we broke topside in the silver market, which was uh, um, July of 2020, you know, after that March downdraft. That's a nice big bar. The top of that bar is 22, the bottom 1661. So, you know, we hit uh, 1748 thus far. That's still saying that 1661 still could be game, you know, which... It's that's this whole dollar thing is going to be, you know, basically on uh, the market for quite some time. That, that's how this is shaken out in, in a huge way. Let's go look at the SMHs because we know that the SMHs lead the market up, lead the market down and all of the above. So if we take a look at these SMHs, you know, you, they're off the bottom, but you have a, the con contraction of volume is a monster. That's the bottom line. Yeah. So. Uh, you came back to, so the SMHs are down from 318. You know, we, this week we hit 189 or 208 right now. So you're coming into a breakout. Yeah, you came in with too much volume. Okay, so we're coming in with 14 million. And we did 22 million. And we're already done 14 million. So check this out. Yeah, this is going, this is, this is not over, man. You know, because what you have here is this. Your breakout area when we went when went we, this was in November of 2020. Well, you went you went topside, and you know the volume wasn't great. That's the real bottom line. Um, you're pulling into it with heavier volume, so that's just saying, hey, guess what, man? This thing's going to come right back at you. So um, the one of the big stories out here today was that mortgage rates went down. Um, to 5.25, it's, they, they, 
Some of these headlines that they put out, folks, <coughs> excuse me, are phenomenal. Meaning, you know, like that's supposed to be the biggest thing in the world because it went down to 5.25 from 5.65. You know, what they're not telling you, okay, well, if you're, if you're going to look for a house right now, right, this is what's going on in the mortgage market. They're advertising these rates. What they're not advertising is points on top of the rates, okay? So the points on top of the rates, bottom line, 1.52. And what that means is that's 1.5% or 2 or 1.75% of the full amount of the market. So your, AP, your ARP is going to be higher, okay? Yeah, they're advertising a rate of, you know, let's say 5.65, whatever that is. You're really in at two points above that because the way the, the rates go, the points go, you have to pay the points up front. And there's plenty of folks that have never seen points or they only understand the points to buy down the mortgage. Now, this is different because what happens is that, I'm, I'll explain to you about the points of buying down the mortgage because that's on the table also, okay? So you have the structure that you pay in the interest, then you pay points up front to get the loan. Now, if you're looking for something, this is kind of cool, okay? There are brokers out there right now, okay, that will do a deal, and this is how the deal comes down. This deal would be on a mortgage for like 600,000, I believe it was, I think it was 600,000, okay, that the, you could, now you'd have to do this up front. This is how this works up front. The broker would buy that mortgage, you could buy that mortgage down to 4.25%, that's it. But guess what? On a $600,000 mortgage, you're paying two, no, $20,000 up front. That's, that's how, there's, there's, I'm meeting with a couple of different mortgage brokers to see, because to see what the different deals are. Because what happens, folks, is that when we get in an area like this, then there's going to be deals because, see, the drawdown in the mortgage rate, what actually happens there is two different things. What happened is that there's less people getting mortgages, so it gets more competitive, and so the rocket mortgages of the world, their spreads tighten, and they make less money, but they know that they have to get a cash flow just to stay in business. And that's, that's where we're at in that business right now. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 318, NASDAQ's up 253, S&P's up 56. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 314, NASDAQ's up 246, S&Ps are up, up 55. I want to welcome uh, Bill Clare back home. Uh, that's my better half's uh, father, Bridget's father. And uh, hi, Barbara. Hi, Bridget. Love you guys. <laughs> Welcome back, Bill. It's a beautiful thing, man. Um, I-bonds. So check this out. We talked about I-bonds before, folks, okay? So if you're not familiar with I-bonds, I'm just going to go over this quickly. But uh, people are catching on to I-bonds. So check this out, man. This is pretty amazing, actually. So markets are slumping. Crypto is cratering. Yet one corner of the financial world continues to offer investors a strong Low risk return, humble I bonds. Now, if you don't understand how an I bond works, right, I'm going to go through this quickly because it is awesome, okay? Now, you only can buy $10,000 worth of these a year, folks, okay? So the I bond, it's an inflation bond. The bottom line is that they reset the interest rate every three months, okay? And the I bond, Okay, so right now the sales of I, uh, series one, series I bond savings uh, remained elevated uh, in June. Listen to this: at three point four billion. That's how many were bought. That's up nine hundred and fifty percent compared to last year. Now you can see why, though. Listen to this, okay? Yeah, on one side you only can put ten thousand to work, but guess what? That's ten thousand risk free, okay? Because the bottom line, the U.S. government's going to pay you back. And you're getting paid 9.62%. So, bottom line is that you make, make $962 and 10 grand. Not bad. Uh, it's great in this market. Um, it's, it's, the, the bottom line is this 9% per year is great in any market. <laughs> that, that's the real bottom line. You get low risk, high return options that are few and far between. There's no doubt about that, man. Um, Look, look at this scale. The scale is huge about the amount that they are selling. Um, and you go to Treasury Direct, folks. Okay, that's how you do it. And what you do when you're at, you go to treasurydirect.gov, okay? And don't make a mistake, okay, when, when you're basically filling the form out. There's, there's no commission. There's no nothing, okay, which is really great with these things. Um, you know, so... Let's see, so you got U.S. citizens, residents, government employees can purchase 10000 per year, per calendar year. Those who use federal income tax refunds may purchase an additional, oh, listen to this one, I didn't know this. Those who use, so pitch this, you can buy, this is cool, man. I didn't know this, okay. So you can buy the 10000 right? Then, if you use a federal income tax refund, if you, you can buy an additional 5,000 in paper form, which bring the annual limit to 15,000. That's really freaking cool. Um, hey, the bottom line is that there's, there's a risk-free deal, okay, um, that, you know, 9.5% is 9.5%. Now, the way that these work also, folks, is this. If, in fact, inflation keeps getting higher, right, as they reset, you're going get, to keep getting paid more money. You know, now what does happen when inflation comes down, you get paid less money. But guess what? Nine and a half percent, man. I mean, you know, 
put it to work, man. Put it to work. I, I know sometimes that sounds like small money, but there's no such thing as small money if you do a percentage on your money. You know, like, I think all of us, you get more discipline and less discipline, right? When you're doing anything. So what I always catch myself with, I say, you know, I like saving money all the time because it's just fun, right? I mean, that's the bottom line. You know, you, you, you know that, okay, what is the game? And sometimes you want to play the game more than other times. It depends on how much energy you already expended during the day, right? Because you're bargaining all day, right? Not really, but you know what I'm saying. But when you keep or if you discipline yourself on knowing the percentages that you can save, you, especially all you young women and guys out there, the amount of money that you save is incredible. That, that's, that's, the, that's the real bottom line. Um, it turns into big money. And yes, Mark, thank you. Um, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, he see. Uh, so picture the way this going. Uh, one of our targets tells us, and if you have another family trust, you can grab another 10k. Um, yeah, it, it, check it out. I will check the rest of this out, and we'll get on with it. But what also happens, just because, let's say, if I got some, um, you could still get some for your daughters and your son and all of that. That's how, that's. It's not a family deal, okay? It's per person, you know. So that that's hey. Check it out. That's the real bottom line, you know, and because what, so picture this. This is where it's going to get intriguing. And, and now you can do this every year. So if, in fact, we, yeah, <laughs> dog skippy, man. So if, in fact, we stay in inflation, let's say three or four years, right? You ladder them. You're going to start laddering them up. Laddering just means that the next year you get them, the next year you get them, the next year you get them. You'd be surprised where you could go. I mean, when I was a kid, and that's when, you know, it was 14.5% and, and all that, there were plenty of folks, okay? So picture this. At that particular point, you could get 30-year bonds that were paying 14.5% for 30 years. Yeah, I'll pull it up. When you see this, this is, the people retired on this, folks, okay? Because the bottom line, if you, you didn't need anything else, man. I mean, who's kidding who? You know what I mean? You, you put 100 grand in there, and you're getting 14.5% per year, you know, whatever you're putting in. Uh, now watch this. You're going to see when you put this back that, because remember the bond market's reversed, okay? So you're going to see bonds, I think it was, it was down to 52 or something. 52 or 50. Let's see, was it 48? It was 55. So you can see this right here, and that was uh, 81. Yeah. Um, it was at 55. So that what 55 means is that you were buying a $100 bond at $55. That was paying 14%, okay, <laughs> for 30 years. So bottom line, they're all gone, of course, because we're, we're way back 30 years. But when you see these openings, you know, bottom line, take care of them, you know, because that is the type of risk-free that you don't see in the markets. You know, you're always, you're always gonna get the 10-year, the risk-free, what, 3% or something, okay? But, you know, the I-bonds had laid out there forever. What had actually happened with the I-bonds is this, is that we, you know, the market really thought, and there's plenty of folks that thought that we were going to go into a huge inflationary deal, and we actually started going into a deflationary deal because the Fed was printing so many dollars. Well, what happened there is that it wasn't just the Fed that was printing dollars, it was every other central bank that was printing dollars, and we didn't go into inflation because the dollar was still the, the strongest currency in a bad market, as it is today. The difference now is that once inflation is embedded in the psychology of all of us, it's very hard to get that out. And we're embedded in that psychology right now. So, you know, the, the biggest part yesterday inside the Fed minutes was they explicitly said that they're not going to lay off until they're back to 2% inflation. I can't even imagine 2% inflation anymore. Yeah, that's the bottom line. Dow Industrial's up 392, NASDAQ up 265, S&P's up 60. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial is up 313, NASDAQ up 249, S&P's up 54. One more deal on that I-bond uh, to answer your question, Ryan. Uh, you do not have to hold them for five years. What happens is this, is that let's say, let's picture you only hold them for eight months. You'll only get paid for six months. You won't get paid the extra two months. Yeah, there's not penalties uh, in this, even like a CD. Okay, so there, I mean, if you need the money, you just happen to have it. Uh, you're only not going to get paid the interest of the quarter once you hold it for six months. That's how, it, so that makes them even cooler, you know. Market-wise out here, let's take a look at it, okay? You have higher price, and I expect uh, as we come into Friday, you can have higher price on Friday. You'll have another contraction of volume coming. Uh, out here today in the SPY, done 51 million shares. You're going into 86. Yesterday we did uh, 70. So you can see that contraction is pretty clear. Um, you know, it's going to be pedal to the metal at that swing point. Uh, NDX 100, I suspect what you're going to see with the NDX, more than likely, we're going to see this NDX get over the swing point pre-market tomorrow because uh, the NQs will probably do it. So right now, the swing on the Qs is 296.57. We're at 294. We hit 295.70. Same deal, though. You get a contraction, but hey, listen, we'll see how it shakes in. Now, the gap from the way down is 299.23. 
So it looks to me, yeah, hey, we'll see how it handles that. That's the bottom line. And of course, one of the, you know, we'll all be watching this dollar. I mean, the dollar, um, you know, bottom line, we'll see how this just shakes out. The dollar right now, it just flatlined out here today. But, you know, it has the makings of 121 for sure. Uh, you know, we went over the UUP. We'll see how that shakes out. If the, the way that these tri-star dojis do work, if that, if the dollar overnight and we open in the morning, backs down, when the UEP opens, it will basically fill, it will bring that down. You have the TriStar Doji, that's a bearish occurrence. So we'll see how it shakes out, man. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Wow! Look at him, folks. Mm -hmm.